On Thursday, the 28th of May, the country woke up to an increase in the number of COVID-19 cases which shot up from 75 to 132 in over one day. Speaking during a donation of personal protective equipment, the mayor of Bulawayo, Solomon Mkuni, said the increase in the national COVID-19 cases proved that the country is not yet out of danger and people should continue following the proposed measures to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. The COVID-19 crisis was declared a national disaster. Friday, March 2020. Since then, we have yet to adjust to the new normal. Uh, the national lockdown was declared in 20, March 2020 is a to slow the spread of COVID 19. We have seen the reduction in public activities, closure of the formal markets, while citizens are expected to wear face masks and practice physical social distancing and washing of hands. There are many socioeconomic issues that make it difficult for people to stay at home. But our appeal as a city is that uh, we are still not up yet out of the woods as uh, seen yesterday where we have experienced the same in the number of cases. The mayor also raised concerns over the emergence of unauthorized informal trading in the city's central business district, stating that the city council would take strict action against unauthorized informal traders operating in the city's central business district. Yeah, during this week, we have uh, actually witnessed the emergence of unauthorized uh, informal trading, which has resulted in congestion in certain areas of the central business district. This is of great concern to us and our council assist with this matter. We shall be scaling up enforcement, enforcement efforts along the former fire in our market area and all illegal vending sites that are now sprouting out in the city as people uh, seek uh, survival uh, methods. For the past months, the city of Wulawa has experienced a heavy water shedding scheme despite the need for people to wash their hands with running water to prevent the spread of COVID-19. With regards to this, the mayor of Wulawa has announced the short and long-term measures of ensuring that water shedding comes to an end. COVID-19 requires people to wash their hands frequently and practice good sanitation hygiene. Water bottles are for the wash of hands and hygiene and water Houses are inundated and not able to deliver water directly to the affected areas. Some of the challenges which Bowser points have been, uh, which Bowser points have experienced are the general amount of time a site which is three to four hours and lack of practicing and social distancing adjustments. To address the situation, Council will, with the assistance of partners, now be erecting water kiosks. These will be mounted tanks where Bowser will decant. This should assist in managing the water situation in the short term. However, in the long term, we will have to look into how we will bring the Matalonisa Bezi water project to fruition. As a way of keeping the spread of coronavirus and preparing the city of Bulawayo for the fight against this pandemic, the Ezra Chisaspanda and Friends Initiative made a donation of face masks and beds to Thorn Groove Hospital in Bulawayo. Reporting for Amakosigazi Media, I am Marvelous Matsuimbo.